So, when you hear the wedding party, first thing that comes to your mind isn't the Owambe you were invited for during the weekend or the after party of Meghan and Prince nuptials, not even about the caterers or the amount of guests you'll be feeding at your own reception. No, the first thing that comes to your mind is that record-breaking Mo Abudu movie directed by Kemi Adetiba with a budget of 60 million raking in a whopping 453 million naira. So, with its massive success and also its undeniable popularity, we decided to flip the script. The Beer Face Film Show presents Hollywood actors who could replace the cast of The Wedding Party. Hollywood consists of many, many amazing popular actors, but when we break it down to Black Hollywood, then the list thins out considerably, therefore making this not so difficult. So to kick off our countdown, we start with the legendary comedian, the godfather himself, Ali Baba, who plays Bamidele Koka. Ali Baba brings a good measure of comic relief with some fun yet silly remarks and quirky gestures. So looking through our list, one name comes to mind and it is none other than the quirky, hilarious John Witherspoon, also famous for his roles in Friday, The Wayan Brothers, and most especially Robert's Grandad Freeman in the Boondock series. Did you, did you notice how we never mentioned Soul Plane? That, that is possibly the worst movie ever made. I bet Kevin Hart tries to forget that movie as much as Ryan Reynolds tries to forget The Green Lantern. That movie really, really sucked. Big time. So back to the story, we feel it's a definite match and John Witherspoon will definitely bring the same flavor Ali Baba brought in the wedding party. Next up, Zena Balogun as Wanu. Easy on the eyes, gentle, unassuming, girl next door, Zena. Well, that's if you live next door to a bunch of supermodels. She's such a pretty girl. Got her big break with the Black, Black Panther. Panther. No, I meant to say her big break with Black, Black Panther. Panther. So let me explain exactly why it comes off this way. Releasing your movie a week before an iconic movie as the Black Panther was never going to play out great considering Black Panther's pre-sale ticket record-breaking numbers. But hey, we digress. But one more thing. Uh, if you really want to piss her off, you know, if you get a chance to see her anytime soon, simply whisper, Wakanda forever. Ha, <laughs> good luck. So we've gone on a little too long, and to replace Zainab in the wedding party, we can think of only one name. And just in case you haven't exactly thought it, oh, we have. Carmen Ijogo. She's a perfect match. We don't need to see any more. Drops Mike. It's all good. They look exactly alike. Next up, Beverly Naya. So she plays Rosie, the sexy, sultry, scintillating seductress. And yes, she plays that role very well, almost too well, to the point that most folks feel that she could be typecasted and restricted to the role of feisty homewrecker. But she seems to have many more layers that are yet to be explored. See beneath her beautiful, if you know what I mean. So to replace Beverly in the wedding party, it would require someone who also comes off as a homebreaking, husband-stealing, sassy, smoldering, smoking sorceress. Introducing Deborah Ayurinde famous for her role in Girls Trip. <laughs> Bet you didn't know she was Nigerian now, did you? Deborah definitely looks the part, and with her undeniable sex appeal, she'd definitely play the role of Rosie in the wedding party as good as Beverly Naya. It's okay, you can look her up now. I'll wait, check out her sexy pictures. Rolling through next is Eyina Wigwe as Nonso Owunka. Now the ladies love him, and with his hardly over-the-top acting and calm demeanor, he comes off as one to look out for in the near future. But what Hollywood star could play the role of Nonso in The Wedding Party? Sean Puffy, haha, <laughs> just kidding. Sean Patrick Thomas. Now you see, you know him, you know, from the movie, Save the Last Dance, and other amazing movies as well, The Barbershop and so on, and he always comes off as that black Hollywood good guy, you know, that's also calm and and forward thinking, definitely boyfriend material. I bet he probably calls his girl, you know, when she's in traffic, like, hey girl, I know you're probably, um, you know, on your way home from work, stuck in traffic. I just thought I'll call you up to sing to you. When the night is gone, I just wanna make you feel alright. Yeah, it's lame, but you know, pretty much that's the type of guy he comes off as. They pretty much match, you know, your Hollywood and Hollywood good guys. Yeah. And next up, Iriti Doyle. 
Yes, she still looks pretty darn hot for a woman who has been in the entertainment industry for quite a while. And if you thought she couldn't bring the heat on screen, then I'll have to take you back to that steamy on-screen moment with herself and Emmanuel Kibweze in the movie 50. Close your eyes, kids. So what Hollywood actress with experience can also bring the heat? It's none other than the queen mother of Wakanda, Angela Bassett. You know what they say, black don't crack, and Angela seems like she's aging backwards with that rocking body. Looks like Stella keeps getting her groove back again and again and again. Don't think anyone could take it from her. Coming up next, Richard Moffat Damijo. And like fine wine, the legendary Richard Moffat Damijo is aging gracefully. If he had an anti-aging routine he was selling, most folks would trade up their pensions in a heartbeat for the secret. After thinking long and hard, who could fit in his shoes for the wedding party? We came to the conclusion that it's got to be this man that could pull ladies three times younger than he is, Dennis Haysberth. You know, from Love and Basketball, Waiting to Excel, and pretty much any African-American movie where a good-looking older black guy is needed. Yup, he's your guy, and we think it's a pretty good match. Moving on, next on our list is the show-stealing, scene-owning, charismatic superstar that is Shola Shobowali. Boy, did she bring it or what? She sparkled like fireworks at Christmas and gave the movie an undeniable glow that was pretty refreshing. So looking to take her spot in the movie would be no small feat. But we do have a name and we think it's pretty worthy. It's none other than the mother of Black Hollywood who starred in countless numbers of African-American classics. Yes, folks, you guessed it, it's Mrs. Jennifer Lewis. We dare you to argue this. We dare you to pick somebody who could fit better. We dare you. Moving on with pride on our list, we've got Mr. Capable, Banky W as Dozier. For his first time on the big screen, he did a pretty decent job, and you can't deny that this definitely helped with the on-screen chemistry with himself and you-know-who. So searching through our list of African-American actors and looking for a good fit strangely wasn't that easy. In some ways, many names come to mind. In others, it seemed pretty limited. But eventually, for the sake of chemistry, our radar pointed towards this guy. How's about we throw in an Avenger, the Falcon? Anthony McKee. Now hold on, hear us out. It seems a pretty good fit and let's be honest, Anthony McKee is doing pretty good for himself. And also, they pretty much have the same kind of demeanor and based on chemistry with our replacement for the bride, it kind of works guys, it does. Honestly, you know, it kind of does, you know, we're, it does. So next up, it's the number one star for the wedding party. It's Mrs. Take Home to Mama, all round good girl, known these days as Mrs. W. Adesua Itomi. You could pretty much start a rumor that she drowned a bunch of kittens and not one person would believe you. Even if you had video evidence, you'd just be tagged a hater. This in no way takes away from her on-screen presence and skills. Always delivers anytime she's called upon. So based on our dream girl image, great acting skills, on-screen beauty, and chemistry with McKee, we are going with, drumroll please, Paula Patton. Yup, also Miss Take Home to Mama, most men would most likely become more chivalrous with her and probably start speaking with a strange British accent that wouldn't be sure how to address a lady who seems so graceful and probably start speaking like the guy from, no, forget it, you know the guy I'm talking about. You know, from the Wedding Party 2 movie, Jesus. For us, she would be a good fit. And with McKee, they could look as good a couple as Mr. and Mrs. W. And so it's a wrap for yet another episode of the Beardface Film Show Special. Hope you enjoyed our lovely list. Do look out for more exciting ideas on possible collaborations with the two biggest movie industries in the world by clicking on that button that says subscribe. Yep, that's all it takes. Catch us again next time. Ciao.